Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I finished my tool rack. I finished my last episode with half completed drawers. Now I need to finish them. To do so, I need to rip my glue up narrower so it will fit inside my thickness planner. When all the pieces are at the same thickness and straight, I can sand them smooth. Next, I can rip them to the height of my drawers. Now, I can start to cut the side dovetails. When both sides are cut, I insert what I have done so far into its opening and from the back, I mark the length of the drawer's sides. Then, I cut them to length. Now I can cut the back dovetails. After a while, I have all the exterior of my drawers, but no bottoms. So I start by cutting a groove at the bottom of each piece. I don't cut right through on the back of the side pieces, but I can for the front because of the half blind dovetails. Now I can measure the size of the bottom. But before cutting them, I carve my logo on the drawer's side. Now I can cut my oak glue up and cut the size of the drawer's bottom. I sanded the bottom thinner, but not thin enough. I have to make a rabbit all around my new bottoms. After checking that it's ok with a dry fit, I can glue it. I take care not to glue the bottom to the sides. When all the pieces are in place, I check for squareness and leave that to dry. I repeat the same thing for all the drawers. I want to keep all my chisel straight like that, but I don't want to damage the wall, so I'll add a support just like this. I begin by marking the length of the back support, but I don't cut it to the size of the rack. I cut it a little bit shorter. Then I put it in place and mark its final position. After marking a dovetail at each end, I cut it. When the dovetail is cut, I remove a little bit of wood to create a small shoulder along the edge of the dovetail. Then I can use it to mark the pins on the rack. With a marking gauge, I trace the depth of what I need to cut and cut the pins. I clean the pins with chisels. When I'm done, I can try my new piece in place. <laughs> Since it's exactly what I want, I can insert those magnets into the wood. Since they're rare earth magnets, they will hold my chisels in place just like I want. But for that, I need to mark where I'll drill the magnets holes. I use my drill press with a router bit to drill those holes. Next, I cut some small pieces of dowels to plug the holes.
Now I'm ready. I just need to insert a magnet in each hole. This is what the magnets look like when they're in place. But I still need to add a little bit of glue and glue the small dolls on top of the magnets. When the glue is dry, I cut the dolls just before passing this into the drum sander. After a final sanding, I'm ready to glue the support to the rest of the rack. This is a sneak peek of the final product. Now that the glue of the drawers is dry, I can give them their final sanding. Now, I have six nice drawers, but no pulls. I'll fix this. I start by cutting some pieces of maple for the poles. Then I turn a cylinder. On one side, I drill a hole for the poles screw. Now I'm going to use my X-carve to carve a small woodpecker on top of the poles. After resetting the CNC position to the position of the screw, I screw the pull in place and carve it. But the pull is not finished yet. I still need to give it a pull's shape. When I have all six pulls, I find the center of each drawer and drill a hole for the screw. This is what everything will look like with the pulls. But I still can't put it in place because of this brace. To be able to mark the rack, I need a clever way to hold it to the wall. When the rack is in place, I check if it's level before marking the brace's position at the top. I mark the side also. Then it's just a matter of joining the points just before cutting on the line. Now I mark what needs to be removed. To remove this, I'm going to use a router. First cut. I need to cut the other side. I clean the cut with chisels afterwards. But I don't have enough support for the shelves, so I make sure I have a straight piece of wood to add a little bit more support. Then I can cut what I didn't cut. When I'm done, I can try my masterpiece on the wall. <laughs> but before doing so, I need to remove this useless switch. I just short circuit the wires together. Now I can try it in place. Wow, it's even better than what I had imagined. But I want to make a quick test. 
So I put all the drawers in place and opened the door. I want to see if the pulls will get in the way of me passing with a full 4x8 sheet of something through the door. And yes, it's still possible. Perfect. So now I can sand what I didn't sand before. I finish my sanding with the linear sander. I find this gives me the best finish. I also sand all the front edge grain. I finish the sanding by cutting the sharp corners. Now I'm ready for the first coat of finish. But before, I need to clean it out. I begin by spraying a coat of finish on the drawers. When they're all done, I spray the rack itself. The most difficult part is to keep it balanced on the small pyramids. But now, this can turn like a charm. After a couple of hours, the finish is dry enough that I can sand it. After cleaning it with a wet rag, I spray a second coat. I do the same thing for the third coat. Now that the finish is dry, I can put it in place, but I figure out that I have a little bit of space between the rack and the wall where I can store some saws. So to keep them in place, I mark the place where I'm going to drill some holes for big magnets and drill them. I'll glue the magnets with 5 minute epoxy. So after mixing the epoxy, I drop a small blob inside my hole and put a magnet. While the glue is drying, it's the perfect time to screw the pulls. And to put in place the switch cover I just bought. Then I can put the rack in place. To hold it in place, I put screws into the shop frame. And finally, I can fill it with all my tools. Here it is. I have to admit that I'm very happy with the look it adds to my shop. My end tools are more accessible now and I have even more drawers in the shop. On top of it, I have nice looking pulls. I also had the chance to make more and cut dovetails. It's always fun to make dovetails. And from now on, you'll have, just like me, the chance to see my new tool rack in the backdrop of more episodes of The Woodpecker. Mm -hmm.